Hello, this is Alex from Cables.gl. I want to show you Media Recorder Operator. This thing is so easy to use. I think this video is going to be super quick. And actually, what I'm going to do now is use it. So I got my patch here. I want to show it to my friends. And I don't want to send them my patch. I just want to send them a video. So I'm going to hold down space, rotate it around, zoom out a bit, let go of space, and bam, here is my video ready to go all right so what happened i used media recorder operator uh, i didn't really mess too much around with the settings and then to record instead of using the default um, toggle here i just used a key press learn operator that was assigned to my spacebar so what did it do it started to record whatever is seen here in this renderer uh, window inside the uh, cables editor. And this size is very important um, for the media recorder operator because if I change it, that is how big my video is going to be. So if you're going to be using it for some specific sizes, uh, don't forget that if you deselect everything and then click on the render window you have this um uh, little pop uh, pop-up bar at the bottom that will allow you to select the exact size so for example 512 x 512 and then it will resize the actual window and media recorder is going to use that dimension for the video so if you want to experiment recording like 4k or something like that or maybe okay maybe uh, a little bit more realistic stuff maybe like 2k um or maybe just a thousand by a thousand um you can use this um change scale of render setting that you'll find in your um parameter command palette sorry command palette so uh the scale scale um canvas will allow you to go into like percentages of the um, renderer. So if I do 0 0.5 and then press OK, you'll see that the window got smaller, but also the performance text is smaller. And if I click and then hold down Shift and use this little um, arrow on the, on the side here to scale my canvas without resizing it, um, you'll see that although it looks small, it's actually half the size and the real resolution of the uh, render is 1,500 by whatever, 900. So Media Recorder will use that and create like a large video. But what are the drawbacks of using Media Recorder? Well, it's in your browser. So it highly depends on your um, how much of a beast your computer is. And, uh, you know, you have to be kind of realistic with with uh, keeping in mind, you know, how heavy your patch is on your CPU and GPU. And then, um, you know, that will affect how well uh, your media recorder operator will record a video at the settings that you give it. So what settings do we have here, actually? We have, of course, if I disable this key press learn, we'll have this toggle for the recording. So whenever I toggle it on, it will start recording and then when I toggle toggle it off it'll stop recording and then my video will automatically download uh, from my browser um, then we have this encoding section which is pretty much the most important section of the operator and here you'll select the mime type or kind of the encapsulating um, format so uh, a webm in in my browser's uh, instance um, and then, of course, the codec for the recording um, that you'll be doing. And um, this is going to be uh, hopefully close to what you have. But if not, you know, don't be surprised. It's uh, highly dependent on your operating system and your browser. So if I click on this drop down, you'll see a bunch of um, bunch of crazy words and numbers and, and all these weird uh, abbreviations. But what are all these things? These are basically the encapsulating format, so WebM, and also I have uh, the Matroska um, format here. And then 
there's different settings for uh, each of those. So the codec will be VP9, and then there's also VP9 Opus, and then VP9 PCM. And if I'm not mistaken, Opus and PCM are actually audio codecs as well. And why do we have audio codecs and media recorder operator? Yes, there is an audio input, which is pretty awesome. So that means if you want to do some, um, like record some videos of uh, uh, video synchronized to audio or maybe even like a VJ session where you're using MIDI to manipulate your visuals while audio is going through cables, um, you can easily uh, quickly create a video with this audio input um, port on the media recorder. So um, I'm not going to show that because uh, it's it's pretty... I mean, it, it works and it's quite self-explanatory. Um, once you press record, it'll record it. So um, definitely have a play around with that. Uh, comment below if you if you um, uh, want to share some videos and, and uh, things you've tried with it. But anyway, um, what else can we do? Um, yeah, then we have the megabits, which is kind of the, the bit rate of your video. So here I had it set to five. So that's... Uh, kind of a reason why it was a bit smudgy and, and funky looking when I uh, opened the video. You can go into pretty extreme numbers like 20, 30 megabits, but that again is highly dependent on your system. Um, but you can get pretty good quality out of this. Um, but again, uh, try it out before you totally commit. I think it depends highly on your system and the codex that you've selected. Then you have the frame rates per second, which I've set to 60. And of course, if you want some smooth video, uh, definitely make sure you set it to something like 60, um, unless you're doing some uh, frame rate limiting in your project would, and then you know adjust this accordingly. It's good to kind of keep everything synchronized and, and uh, stable, you know, so if, if I'm going to be recording here with frame rates uh, set to 60 and maybe my main loop is uh, limited with this, uh, I've selected the main loop here and I've used, and I would, for example, be using the FPS limit to like 15 for whatever reason, then obviously it doesn't make sense to create a video at 60 frames a second. But, um, you know, for good measure, actually, I recommend setting this to 60 as well. So you kind of, uh, try to lock as many uh, unknowns in your patch as you can. So um, my top frame rate for my project is 60, and then my frame rate for my video is also 60. So I would expect my video to look as best as it can um, to show my project. Um, what else do we have here? I'm just going to uh, ramble on and look at some other projects I have open here. Um, here, I think I was most, mostly showing that, you know, I have, um, animation, <clears throat> like, uh, procedural animation going on and, you know, media recorder really doesn't care what's happening as long as it's happening inside your renderer here. Um, but one thing to keep in mind is, for example, this overlay here is in CSS. So for example, if we have a website that we're working on in cables where it's HTML and CSS over some WebGL content, and we expect to use Media Recorder to record that stuff, uh, you won't see those overlays in your video because the video is strictly uh, focused on your um, GL canvas, and that's what will be recorded. So keep that in mind if you want to do some uh, animation with text or you're uh, doing some uh, interactive uh, elements, like they need to be in WebGL because that's the way uh, Media Recorder is set up to work at the moment. But, you know, this is a fairly new operator that came out uh, just like a month ago or something like that. So uh, definitely leave some feedback uh, about how you're using it and what sort of things you've run into with it because we'd love to hear some feedback on it and uh yeah um what else uh yeah so what can you do with these videos for example sure you can you can send them to your friends or post them online but 
Uh, you can also just put them back into cables, right? So there's really, um, really kind of cool effects that you can do with generated videos that then you bring back into cables and maybe uh, you just want to show some preview videos of a patch that, you know, your user could open through your cables project. So for example, if you have a um, portfolio website or something like that, you can quickly go through your projects, record little videos, make sure they look great uh, for the resolution you need, and then uh, put them into kind of an overarching project where you're uh, browsing the different artworks, but you're using very light, very small videos to preview um, what your user would expect to see when they click on it and then open you know, an interactive version of your project. Um, what else? Yeah, I, this is an example that I wanted to kind of just test for myself is I have a relatively um, precise and kind of, uh, you know, what's it called? Uh, um, it's, it's a project or an effect that really needs frame rate precision to function. So, you know, the uh, media recorder, is it going to mess this up? Is it, is it going to kind of break the timing inside my patch and uh, ruin this kind of feedback effect, which is highly dependent on um, everything being stable and, and running well? And uh, I don't think so. Let's try it, actually. We'll, we'll try it live. So we'll have a media recorder here. I just placed it down in my project. I'll select maybe VP9. Uh, I'll change this to 60. What do I have? Yeah, um, 1024. It's actually scaled here. So we'll see if this works. And then I'll press record. Wait a little bit. And then stop recording. And then let's look at our video. Yeah, it looks, looks fine. So we'll actually play it. And then I'm going to look at my codec information. And pause it. Yeah, so you see it's 1024 by 1024. And in our editor, we've actually scaled our render it to 0 0.5. So it's, it's uh, visually smaller than what it actually is. And Media Recorder is looking strictly at this resolution that we have here. Um, yeah, I hope that makes sense. But you see that it doesn't really affect the the effects that you have in your um, super precise feedback, for example, uh, effect here. That's nice. Um, oh yeah, and then here I just have some random cluster doing some uh, animations and I wanted to see will Media Recorder record this. So Media Recorder. We'll set this to VP9. Maybe just change this to 60 and then press record and then stop recording. And yeah, working fine. <laughs> All right, that's it. Uh, I think I've rambled on enough. I don't know if anyone's still watching, but definitely try this operator. It's super easy to use. Post some stuff in our Discord. Um, yeah, share the stuff. Bye.